Okay, had to wait for the sun to come up here. That's what we're working on. We're gonna cut up the screener today. It's kind of a shame to do it, but scrap prices are up. Try to salvage some of the uh, hydraulic stuff just for future, uh, you know, endeavors here. There's a couple good motors, some other little parts, hydraulic stuff, hoses. Um, it's really not portable. This thing's been ran through the ringer, I think, throughout the years. Um, it's got a Wisconsin four-cylinder on it. And uh, nice tank. Yeah, here's the Wisconsin on it. It's nice electric start. It does run. I think a valve or something stuck, maybe. It's a, you know, like a flathead engine. But it's kind of a shame. These are actually worth some money, I believe, these rollers. But it's just got to go. It's too much work to get it kind of going. It doesn't really screen as much material as I would like it to. I was running some uh, fluffy compost uh, sand mix on about a 100 degree day. Dry as can be. Pile covered. And I think I got 14 yards out of it in an hour. I mean, that's okay for small work, but not for what we're uh, doing. I mean, numbers have to work. So here she is in all of her glory before we take her down. It's kind of nice. See that hydraulic right here, this one? One of them was bent. That was already gone. See, it was actually ripping itself apart, believe it or not. And this would pivot right here so you could transport it. Someone actually added that in there. And before I get uh, too ahead of myself, let me show you what my father did. Actually, how this worked was, oh, there's a rabbit. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Well, we got some friends living over here. <laughs> he just scared the hell out of me. Well, back to what I was saying. Um, this was actually across the street. I don't know, when I first started coming to my yard here probably 12 years ago, and my father actually welded this on here. It's kind of cool. Before he passed away, so that's before 2013. This was probably 2008-ish time frame. Look how nice. Tack that on there for the guy. Fabbed it up, so I gotta keep this little unit. It'd be kind of cool. But we got to drain the uh, hydraulic oil down and uh, start working on it. I got Jake coming over. He's going to help me out. Send it. Ready? Here we go. Ah, nice. I told you I found it. <laughs> Salvage those two nice little rams. Okay, so our next section here. Made those two cuts there. This will hang from here to there. Will hang. That's like a bridge, you know. So now we're gonna get rid of. We're gonna cut there. It's already done. Here and here. And then Jake's working on the bottom. He's gonna leave the bottom web and right on the bottom. So when he cuts those two, it'll hinge off these right here. And this look this little triangle will just go right on the ground. Okay, we made the cuts on the bottom, cuts on the top. In theory, it should rotate like I thought. Did she go? Uh, 
I see what happened. Because they didn't cut it the long way. If you made them both sh straight, they probably would have went, right? If I cut the other one, if I cut this side the long way, it would have went. Well, it looks like we got to cut that. Oh, I see. Okay, give it a kick. You know, I need the hammer. I'll hit it over. Uh, go ahead. Uh, okay, hand me the torch. Torch. Kick it, kick it in. Just see it. You're well done at top. There you go. Perfecto. Good job. Got a nice background though. That that gray sky it looks pretty cool. In theory, it shouldn't really. It should just roll right off of there. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully not too hard. Not too hard though. <laughs> America, America. <laughs> Good job, Jake. And we didn't die. Two pins right here where this rotates this whole screen, pre-screen here. It'll come off the top and then we cut the bolts on this hopper and that should come off of there. We're down to the last the conveyor. We got those bolts up there. Right there, already caught. Try not to smash the motor. He's doing the last two bolts on that side. I'm rigged up with a chain to the bucket and hopefully I can uh, pick this right off and then I got this random cart thingy and we're going to drop it right on top of that. So the, the motor and the hydraulic tank will be all in its one unit. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, this is where we're at. Done. Drag that out of the way. That's the I was calling this like the uh, bridge the conveyor here's our scrap and all our junk here that's what we're left with there she is all of her glory so now i'll be able to move that around one piece without uh you know having things hanging around i'll, I'll break it down further but for today and having jake here helping me it was awesome so